You good boy, show mommy how to pick easy. <laughs> <laughs> what I've tried to do is basically create the experience when you're coming here, it feels like their house. <laughs> They're seeing the house, but it's like they're seeing a movie star. Like, wow, it's, it's a Christmas story house. Ah, fragile. It must be Italian. Hey, sit on the couch, grab the leg lamp, crawl in the sink, do whatever. You get to basically play in the house. <laughs> A true Christmas pilgrimage since 2006 for 100,000 people a year. Where is he? All year round, but especially at Christmas time, fans of the movie A Christmas Story make the trek to Cleveland to post pictures, tour Ralphie's house, and take home all things pink pajama and leg lamp, of course. Immediately, my feet began to sweat as those two fluffy little bunnies with the blue button eyes stared sappily up at me. Okay, this is the spot. Yeah, these so, spots. These spots. So actually, these weren't even in the house. We had to recreate these. So Believe it or not, again, building it was hardly a dream for Florida resident Brian Jones. It sort of, well, fell in his lap. The year was 1999. I wanted to be a jet pilot and astronaut. So 42-year-old Brian Jones back then studied hard, became the valedictorian of his high school class, went on to graduate from the U.S. Naval Academy, and majored in aerospace engineering. Got to Pensacola, Florida for flight school and failed the vision test. His lifelong dream dashed in an instant. His parents plotted a pick-me-up for their heartbroken son. Their idea? Was to build me a major award, uh, which was a leg lamp. It's indescribably beautiful. It reminds me of the 4th of July. Yes, the leg lamp from A Christmas Story. Don't bother me now, sweetie. Can't see I'm busy. Yeah, but what is that? It's, it's, a, it's a major award. A major award? Looking for a career change, guess what Brian Jones did next? Then one day it just dawned on me. I was like, I should sell leg lamps. And so he did. 500 in his first year, nearly 2,000 in the second. Then in 2004, he took his business to a new level when the house from A Christmas Story was up for sale on eBay. I just thought, I was like, that's the opportunity of a lifetime right there. He bought it sight unseen, tore off the gray siding, and got to work to make the iconic house into a near exact replica of the Parker's house, inside and out. Oh, there it is, my house. Peter Billingsley gets his start early. Take a tour even spend the night in Ralphie's room. About a half hour after we close, you get the whole house until we about a half hour before we open, about 9.30 in the morning. It sleeps six, and during the busy season, could cost you $3,000 a night. You have whole families that come, and this is like the, the grandfather, the father, and the kids, so people getting kind of raised on it. You're not standing behind ropes. You can touch and you can pick anything up, and you can go in the cabinet underneath the sink if you want to, sit on the sofa. It's all hands-on. None of this would exist if it weren't for the leg work. Three grand a Three night. Three thousand dollars a night. I love that movie. Okay. I don't know if I'd spend that. You but love it that much? Not, no, not that okay. much. But it is a good movie.